Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of RK Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's project of the week. Well, I'm excited. I had a great time this past weekend at Visa Win. We had a lot of fun. We enjoyed our hands on class, and I'm looking so forward to market in Houston. So, to this week, we're going to talk about another one of our new features. I'm going to come in and I'm going to get a new piece of paper. And I've got, I'm going to come to my artwork tool, my line tool. And I'm going to just grab the pen. And I'm going to just squiggle around here. Right mouse click. I'm going to select my artwork. And I am going to turn it into a steel stitch. Now here at the bottom, the third stitch over is our steel. Now a steel, I'm going to left mouse click. What a steel stitch is, is it is a consistent satin that is consistent no matter what you do, the width remains the same. So you can see even though I squiggled all over, the width is the same. I'm going to delete this stitch. I can also create a steel by coming up here to my digitizing tools left mouse click and I can select my steel stitch here and again I can do whatever I want when I right mouse click there is my consistent width of satin all the way through well what we've done this is DJ's latest is we have created a way that you can actually have some real fun with this steel stitch with the ends. See the thing about a steel stitch is, is it is the same width all the way through, but the ends are always going to be just a squared off open end. So I'm going to go ahead and come back to my tool. I'm going to grab my line and I'm going to left mouse click, left mouse click, and right mouse click. Now that I have created this artwork line, and if we look over in our sequence view, you can see this is artwork. I'm going to go ahead and left mouse click down here with my one click wonder and create a steel. Now I did this straight for a reason. Now what can we do with a steel stitch? Well, we've always been able to change the width. I can make it a lot wider, or we can make it more narrow. Either way, this is our steel. But I want to show you what fun down here that has been added. Now if I come down over onto my left hand toolbar to my third tool which is my shape tool, you'll see that I've got here, I'm going to move this down, I've got green for start, and I have red for end. Now I've gone ahead and moved the start to one end and I have the end at another. So with that I'm going to come over here and look at my start line cap. Now if I click left mouse click on the down arrow I can say well you know what I want this cap to be round and I'm going to apply that. So now let's turn off that tool so you can see it. See how it's nice and rounded? Let's select it again. Let's say stop, that's where my red dot was. I'm going to make it rounded as well. I'm going to apply. So you can see I have nice beautiful round ends here. You can see the difference. I have just a squared off open end. Now I have a pretty rounded end. Alrighty, let's go ahead and go off of 3D. Let's create another line. I'm going to grab my line tool. I'm going to left mouse click, left mouse click, and right mouse click. Now I have a line. I'm going to select this artwork line and I'm going to turn it into a steel stitch. One click wonder. Now I am going to check and see where are my start and stop? Well you can see again my start and stop were at the same end. So I'm going to move that down 
so that they're at different ends. Let's go to our next one. Let's go for sharp point. And let's go ahead and do the line end cap. Let's do sharp and let's apply. So now I have a nice little sharp point. How cool is that? Nice little pencil point. Now I've got a round and I have a sharp. So let's go ahead, create another line, only this time I think I'm just going to grab my steel stitch. Again, left mouse click, left mouse click, right mouse click, and there it is. So I'm going to select that steel as well, and I'm going to double check where's my start and stop. Notice that started here and ended here. Why? Because when I drew the line, using the steel stitch itself, I started here and ended here. Whereas when I took the artwork tool, what it actually did is it put down a start, it did a run stitch over, just a simple run underneath, and then it did my steel stitch and came back to the end. So when using artwork, I changed to make sure I had a start and a stop. Whereas with my actual steel stitch tool, where I start is where it's going to start and where I end is where it's going to end. So now that I've got this, let's have some fun. Let's do sharp for the beginning and let's do round for the end. And I'm going to apply. Now this is pretty cool. This looks like a pencil. This looks like a crayon. But notice when we had the rounded point here, they're really kind of more beveled. But when I picked one in sharp and one in round, it went ahead and kind of gradually decreased it so that it looked good with the other end. The other thing is, is when I do this, when I make the length of the line, this line is 5.85 inches. I'm going to undo as my friend. Undo as my friend. So now it's still just my line. Oh, and I say 8586. It's measuring this one. I just want to see what this is. This is this line. When I look up here and see this, it's just telling me the width of my design. I want to see the width of this line. It's 5.33 as you can see right here, but I'm going to go ahead and go to transform 5.33. Now let's go ahead, come back to our steel, and let's give us a sharp point, and let's give us a round point at the end, and let's apply. I want you to notice it didn't make it any longer because a lot of times when you'll do things like this it'll make the line longer to add the caps. Notice our software took into account and it went ahead and it started the cap far enough that it didn't add it on to the end so it's not going to make my line longer. Let's look at some more fun. Let's go ahead, grab our steel stitch. Now over here, I'm going to start on the right-hand side. Right. Now I'm going to come left. But I'm just left mouse clicking. Now right mouse click to stop it. Now let's select that line and look at it. Now notice, I started over here and ended here. So that's why my start point came this way, and here's my end point. Now we're going to look at our 45 degree cut and I'm going to do a 45 degree cut and I'm going to apply that. How cool is that? It looks real nice. Now look what we've got right here. We got a little weird line here. When that happens what you're going to do is you're just going to take this line and you're going to kind of pull it in a little bit, enter and it's going to, well, there we go. Well, it refuses to go away for me. Hang on. Oh, I know. Let me move this back. 
Let's just move this down in some. Well, it refuses, it refuses, of course, because we're looking at this. So let's go ahead and fit back to screen. There we go. Now, just moving it a hair got rid of that little point out there. I just moved it a hair over. So now we're rid of that little weird end that we got. Now let's go back over here. Left mouse click, left mouse click, right mouse click. I'm going to select that line and we're going to come over here and we're going to do 135 degree cut point and apply. So you can see how cool this is that I could just come in here and I could play and do anything I want with these. I can use one end one way, one end another. Let's go ahead and say I want to change this end and I want it to be a 45 and apply that. So now I've got one up, one down. This is a lot of fun. There's so much that you can do with this to play, to work on your designs, to fill in, and it's so nice to have ends to our steel stitch. Just imagine putting a border around something. I can go ahead and miter everything and put it on so it looks very nice. I can do all kinds of fun things being able to change my start cap and my end cap. So this is pretty awesome in software because we haven't been able to do that before. If you wanted to do something like this, you would actually have had to create your own cap and put it on. With this, with Floriani, we've got our one-click wonder. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I hope you play with this and learn something new with it. I want to thank y'all from Be So In that joined my progressive classroom. It's growing and growing, and I'm so excited about it. Thank you all so much. I look forward to seeing you again next week with another new feature in Floriani Total Control U.